When working with media, whether that would be images or video, one of the most important things is to actually get them uploaded so that you can start your transformations. Now we know that it's fairly simple to upload a single image. We just use the cloudinary.uploader.upload and then put in the image that we want. In this example, I have Cloudinary configured. So when I run this result, if I just do npm run start, you'll see that I get a result back with the URL or the secure URL. And if we take the secure URL and we drop it into our browser, you'll see that there's an image of a cheeseburger. But what if we want to upload multiple images, for example, all 10 of our images? If we delete this out so that we actually are using images, we could just use a for loop here. So we could say for const image in images. And then inside of there, we could just do this result right here. And then instead of just using a hard-coded image, we could do images and then paste in the image. Then when we hit save here and we run this again, what we should see is that the promises start to flow one after the other. So there's one, two, three, four, et cetera, et cetera, until we've uploaded all of our images. Now this is great if you care about it being one in order so that every one happens in particular order. And two, you only have a small amount of images. But once you start getting into the point where you need to batch your images, you may want to use something like plimit. So we can go ahead and just comment this code out right here. And then we can install plimit. So npm install plimit. And this allows you to use promises and use them concurrently and you can restrict how many happen at once. So then we just need to import plimit and then we need to set our limit. So for example, const limit equals two, but we're going to set it to 10. So let's say we have a hundred images they'll run 10 concurrently, which is the maximum you can do through the Cloudinary free plan. So instead of using upload images for this one, just to be different, we'll do images to upload equals and then this is where we're going to actually map over these images so we're going to do images.map and then we'll call it image so the way that plimit works we need to return and then limit and then we're going to use the arrow function here then we can copy this code right here the same code we wrote before but instead of having images we can just use the image that we've mapped over here and then instead of doing console.log we'll return the result and hit save. Then all we need to do is actually log this out. So we can do uploads equals await promise dot all, and then use images to upload. And then we can just do console.log uploads. Now we're ready to actually test this out. And obviously we have plimit set to 10, which is the maximum of the free tier. So we run this now and we should just get an array with all the results in for our promise. And there we have it. Next up, learn how to use AI to automatically categorize and tag all of those uploads.